Today's color code is HC116. Let's get cracking. That color code represents the color Guilford Green by Benjamin Moore, which is part of their historic color collection. Although this palette of colors came out more than 40 years ago, that doesn't make them old and obsolete. My philosophy is you can take almost any color and make it your own within your own color palette. Guilford Green specifically is an interesting one for me because it tends to be a neutral green that incorporates some gray and yellow as well. I would place it in that mid-tone category of colors because it has an LRV or light reflectance value of 58.14 and I tend to see it used quite a bit in a wide variety of ways. As a fun little fact, Guilford Green was named Benjamin Moore's 2015 Color of the Year, and I feel like it can also be representative of the current trend in interior decorating because we're kind of moving away from plain old grey. If you don't know me, I'm James from ThePaintPeople.com, a website all about painting and decorating. Whether you just need help with colors or some tips on how to paint, we aim to be your number one source. Whether you're a pro or an average Joe, we got you covered. When it comes to paint colors, green in general can sometimes give people some apprehension, especially when it's subtly introduced in the form of a pesky undertone. A lot of my customers will describe a gray color that they really like because it doesn't feel greeny to them. The thing is, green can be a beautiful way to incorporate color within a space while still feeling somewhat conservative. It all depends on the type of green you pick, and I think Guilford Green's combination of undertones make it pretty versatile, all things considered. What's great here is it incorporates both yellow and a little bit of teal green, which gives it a slightly minty feel to it. Like all colors, that bit of yellow or that bit of minty green will largely depend on the lighting conditions. As a color, it has quite a bit of depth to it. Even when it's overwhelmed with natural light, it's still dark enough where it won't ever feel washed out or just a plain old off-white color. Also, that depth isn't just represented in its darkness, but also feeds into its depth of color because you're not having to look deep inside its undertones to see that green coming out. Although it's fairly neutral for a green, Guilford Green isn't a green leaning gray. It's a green, but I will say that it could be categorized as a beginner's green or a transitional color that you can incorporate as a barely accent color. Where should you use it? There are many places to use this color. Essentially, anywhere you want a pop of color without having to throw neon pink on the walls. It does walk that fine line of being a dynamic choice, but still muted and sophisticated. Even though it's not too light of a color, its pleasant and light warmth gives it more versatility when compared to much cooler color alternatives. That being said, it's a color that I could use anywhere in the home, but I wouldn't use it everywhere in the home, if that makes sense. It's not quite a main color for me, only because I would much rather see pops of it throughout rooms like kitchens and bedrooms or family rooms. There's nothing stopping me from wanting to use it in a hallway, but then I might wanna switch things up in those secondary rooms to add some depth of color. What's a good trim color for it? You have more options here than you might think, but your trim color will have quite an impact on Guilford Green's undertones because it's one of those transitional colors that contains that yellow warmth and that minty green coolness. Which side you incorporate in your trim color will accentuate the other side. So if you go with a cooler trim color like Distant Gray, then you might see a little more of that warmth coming through in the green. It's a bit of a balancing act, and I'm sure you've experienced this effect when comparing color swatches. You might think you found a perfect gray, for example, until you put it next to a cool blue. Now, your gray looks a lot more like a beige, and that's because this color's cool blue is visually neutralizing the cool aspect of this color. The only case where using a warm white might warm up your walls visually is when you use it on a much larger surface like on wainscoting or a ceiling. In situations like that, you might then have some of that warm color bouncing off and reflecting onto the walls. Overall, I'm still a believer that lighting will alter the color's undertones more than anything, so the more incandescent lighting present, the more yellow you'll see in the color. The more high Kelvin LED lighting or direct sunlight you introduce will make that slight teal gray come through even more. If you want a simple and straightforward answer, I would probably suggest Chantilly Lace in this case. It's the white with pretty much the least amount of tint, colorant, and undertones inside, and will be extremely bright and vibrant. Because it's the brightest white you can get, you don't need to worry about how its undertones will play into Guilford Greens. What are some fun color pairings for it? My first natural choice would be just to stick within that green color palette. 
Now in this case, you can really go towards one direction or the other. You can amp up the yellow and go warmer or opt for something more towards that teal gray color mixture that I enjoy a little bit more. Woodland Green 459 is a little bit deeper with an LRV right around 51 and it will be a slightly bolder choice overall just based on its darkness and its clear cooler undertone. Because of that added teal aspect, it becomes less than ideal as an everywhere color, but in comparison to Guilford Green, it becomes the accent, while Guilford Green remains the warm, welcoming color alternative. Your complimentary color choice is as much about that color as it is the other colors you're using alongside it. There's always going to be that symbiotic relationship between every single color in your palette. If we're talking about complementary color pairings, you can look on the opposite side of the color wheel. And I found a color with a very similar LRV that creates a pretty dynamic look with Guilford Green. That color is Easter Ribbon 1381. And what you get is a fairly classy purple that is muted with some gray and just enough red to give it a nearly invisible burgundy undertone to it. Its LRV is right around 60, which is still pretty close to Guilford Green. I wouldn't necessarily use both of these colors in two nearby rooms. They would probably be the color palette to incorporate within the same space. One being your painted wall color and the other being accents within the room. Or the safer option is just to go with a much lighter off-white neutral on the walls and then have both colors as your accents. Complementary colors are by definition opposites, which creates a very dynamic contrasty look. But if you're sticking around that same LRV, the look will be harmonious rather than jarring. Can you compare it to other colors? For something with just a touch more yellow within it, you could check out Harbour Town 493. They're extremely similar, but Guilford Green just seems to have a little bit more of that teal touch and perhaps more of a gray feel. But Harbour Town will hold on to its yellow undertones a bit more, even when surrounded by cooler lighting. A much lighter color that has a lot of similar undertones would be Rock Candy 937. This is pretty much an off-white, or at least a very light color, that possesses that combination of teal, yellow, and gray and it creates an interesting looking neutral that could play really well with Guilford Green. It's not so light that it just looks like an off-white, but it's not far enough off of Guilford Green where it'll make the other look overly dark. I would simply use Rock Candy in place of Guilford Green in those areas of your home that don't get enough light, or you just want it to feel more airy and open, albeit at the expense of color depth. For more color code, click here to get another insightful video. If you want to show your support to our channel, click subscribe and hit that bell and all notifications so you don't miss out on the color content you crave. See you on the next one.